Hey Pixies and welcome to night one of Jollywood here in Hollywood Studios. I am so excited to be taking you guys along for a fun filled evening. Hopped on a bus at All Star Music at 6 o'clock, got here by about 6.20 and they started letting everyone in to the park for the Jollywood nights that are ticket holders for the Jollywood party at about 6.30. So that was pretty good. We got in a little early, we got to walk around, take some photos with the family, so that was a lot of fun. But we are so excited and if you're ready to see what Jollywood has to offer, go ahead, click the thumbs up button and let's jump into it. Go pretty quick then. Yeah, that should go pretty quick. Estimated wait time is 90 minutes. All right, hour and a half. That's not bad. You know what we should do between now and then? Get some food. <laughs> It's like um, banana. Um, what's that? Oh, banana pudding? It tastes like a banana pudding milkshake. Oh, nice. How would you rate it? It tastes really good. It's a, uh, I mean, it's not the greatest thing I ever have, but it's delicious. So, seven? It's good. Pop over. You know, it's like an open faced sandwich, essentially. It's so messy. Okay. Good? Very heavily gravy. Heavily gravy. Oh. 
mean, it tastes like Christmas. That does taste like Christmas. It tastes like Christmas meal. That's good. Probably an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? It's good. I yeah, you want to try it? I do wish it was warm. It's a little... I just talked to the mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're done. That's better than the donut. What is it? Well, you know what? I can change the score. Donut's like a five because it's just a donut and some peanut butter and jelly. It's good. Nothing right at home about. All right. Yeah, that's good. Line for this food though is absolutely bananas. Like it's all the way down and it turns the corner and goes towards Rosie's. Like that's how far the line goes. I'm gonna go shopping. Okay, so the only Jollywood merch is a single shirt. Um, I don't know. Comments. What are we thinking? How do we feel about the shirt? There's not even a pass holder. One, there's not an ornament. Just a t-shirt. That's it. Excited to write Star Wars? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Alright, so overall, Fairfax Fair and the things that we got, 7 out of 10 is what I would honestly give it. Um, the turkey popover was good. I just wish it would have been a little warmer. I could tell they were kind of prepping those things for the party and for when they first opened because it was like the fifth person in line for the place. So that is part of why it's probably not the warmest. Uh, but it was really good. So I don't know. It, I'm very mixed. It's very messy. It is a lot of gravy. The potatoes are like sliding all over the place. So it's messy. So be sure to have some wipes, napkins. Not a time to forget your napkins. But we're headed over. Our boarding group got called at about 9 o'clock for Rise of the Resistance. We were group 22. So we're headed over there. Um, Lucy is so excited for Rise of the Resistance. It's her very first time. So we're going to get to do that. But very, like, the crowd levels have dropped significantly. So crowd levels here have been amazing. Now when it comes to character lines, Phineas and Ferb, Powerline Max, as well as uh, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers Chippendale, have had quite long lines. Phineas and Ferb are one of those characters you don't typically get to meet them, so they had one of the longer lines of the night that I've seen so far. It looked probably 30, 45 minutes, honestly. So if those characters are a priority for you, definitely prioritize that earlier in the evening. That way you can make sure that you get it done. That way you're not disappointed if you leave and you do get to meet them because at some point I'm sure they will cut off those lines for the characters. like us and you do have a little one that is not tall enough for Rise of the Resistance, you can actually utilize Rider Swap during the party. Um, so you'll just go up to the cast member, let them know, hey, I need to do Rider Swap, and they can take care of that, get it all set up for you. So it's 9.15. Dean and Lucy just got in line, so we'll see how long it takes them to get onto the attraction. I'm curious with the virtual queue and how like, crowded the party is tonight, how long that line will actually take, and then she and I will get to go through and she'll get to ride it again with me on the second time. So very excited to see this and then hopefully we can move on. I would love to go meet Mickey and Minnie in their new Jollywood outfits, so we'll see what we can do. If you are someone that you're considering coming to this for riding the attractions, these wait times are crazy. Like, Tower of Terror is a walk-on. So many things are five minutes. Mania is the highest wait at 35 minutes, which probably will go down, would be my guess. Um, that's like, bananas that the highest thing is 35 minutes. I'm curious to see how long the virtual queue actually takes for them like I mentioned earlier so as soon as they come off I'll find out but like 
this is nothing weights, especially if you're bringing little kids. That's perfect. Like you can just keep going on alien swirling saucers all you wanted to. Five minutes, just walk on all the time. Okay, so for all of you Star Wars fans that you have wanted to build a lightsaber, you can't get into Sobeys. Um, they're literally walking around saying they have walk-in availability. So if you wanted to go build a lightsaber during Jollywood nights, you could literally walk right in and do that. So that's another bonus. If you're wanting to do something like that, then they have availability. Dang right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. I'm is everyone assembled? The resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Oh, we better be good. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order. How much do you think we're gonna pay? You have been taken from the need on the bridge. with me again? Sure. All right, let's do it. Maybe a robot can throw him up here. He's the pilot. I know. Please report back to IGS Cockpit. Okay, so with the virtual queue, we were all three of us. They went through the regular line and then Lucy and I went through the lightning lane because we had the rider switch. And between the both of us and the ride and everything, from the point we got in line to Lucy and I just now getting off, took an hour. Literally one single hour, so not too shabby for the both of us um, to be able to ride and experience that and not have to pay for a lightning lane during the day. So if you're here, you're doing the party, you wanna do that, highly recommend it because it is such a hard to get attraction and the lines get insanely long for that during the day. So if you're here and you're wanting to ride Rise, get in that virtual queue.
Okay, so, poutine pods. We're gonna dive in. What is that? Poutine pods. It's got like cheese curds and beef. And gravy. Ah! Oh, cheese That's brisket with slaw. Uh, slaw. Brisket? Yes. Yeah. All right, what you got? This is the s'mores funnel cake. Ooh, and this is a slaw funnel cake? Yep. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Is that good? It's very good. Oh, it looks good. How's that one? That's decent. That'd be better without the slaw. Oh, okay. This is good. I actually really like it. That's the best out of the three things we've tried. And we have the Sandy Claws hot cocoa. I can't get to anything but the cherry on top of the whipped cream. I don't know, 5.5. Like that. I think the best thing is the tots. Yeah, the best thing is the tots. Uh, the tots are good, and then this is good. Eh. Like, I'm, I'm not, right there with you. I'm not like overly overwhelmed. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing with any of it. No. No, those tots. I think the Christmas party had better food. Yeah. I think the food at the Christmas party was much better. That's just me. Okay, this night is freaking flown by. It is 11.39 and we're headed to the theater to hopefully catch the Christmas show. Hopefully there's still seating available. We'll see. It was really busy earlier, but I'm hoping since it's like the last show, it won't be as busy. We'll see. So, Jingle Bell Jingle Bam is in 11 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna stay for it. It's like, it's gonna be a game time decision. So we'll see, cause the rain is like picking up. It sounded really hard while we were in there. Yeah. And it's kind of slacked off and now it's back. So, I don't know, we'll see. Things we've had all day. It is raining even harder, so we're 
been out. So let's go. Your mission, get in, get out, never be noticed. Titus Prepper, patch us through to the big guys on. Alright you guys, so we went from jolly to soggy at the party. Um, we rested and so I'm like trying to think back now and just kind of wanting to recap how I actually felt about the party and the value of it and if the value was there, especially for parents because that's like, there's so many people doing their spins on the party but for me as a parent I didn't see a lot of parents with young kids there because um, the event is definitely more marketed to Disney adults versus Disney families so I feel like that's more of what it's geared toward to begin with um, but we love Hollywood Studios so we went anyway because I'm like Hollywood Studios at Christmas is already my jam like I listen to that playlist at home like it is the thing um, I love it, but as far as with kids I Don't like the some of the party stuff like meeting characters obviously that's kid-friendly um, And then some of the food was kid-friendly and then also doing the Disney holiday show um, Which is over where they do the Beauty and the Beast show that one was really good and my girls loved it um but um, as far as just the overall party exclusive things being a good bang for your buck with little kids, I don't think it is. But hear me out. Um, as the party exclusive things are definitely geared more towards adults. So if you're going for that, make it a date night. Make it a girls night. Make it an adult time out. Like that's if you're doing party specific things, I feel like that's more what it's geared toward. Um, and it would have been so much fun. I would have loved getting dressed up with Dean and just dancing in the streets. And like, I think that just would have been great. Um, that just wasn't like how we did it though, because we had our girls with us, they're four and two. Um, but here's where I think this party is awesome for families. So you have the after hours event, which is typically around the same price range. Now granted with those, you do get free like Mickey bars, ice cream sandwiches, sodas, things like that. With this party, you got nothing for free. Um, everything was on top of that. So you didn't get that included, but where I think this party shines for families is the wait times. Everything was such a low wait. The highest wait that I saw all night was 35 minutes for Toy Story Mania, which still, granted, compared to a normal day, isn't terrible. Um, but the rest of the rides, like Slinky Dog was an average of between 15 to 25 minutes all night. Um, Alien Swirling Saucers, five minutes, which is code for a walk-on. Tower of Terror was a walk-on. Rise of the Resistance, you could actually get in the virtual queue. Like we did Rider Swap and we were in and out in an hour, um, which is awesome for doing like Rider Swap and the queue and the like pre-show because that's a long ride like if you include the pre-show and the attraction itself <clears throat> it's like really really long um so doing that in an hour was awesome being able to walk on to Minnie's and mickey's or mickey and minnie's runaway railway five minutes like holy cow all those kid rides that you would normally do with your kids were absolute walk-ons um the characters were fun and the weights the longest line was for mickey and minnie um which we're gonna talk about that in a second um, but the longest line we waited was 25 minutes we m ended up meeting Minnie so um, they have Minnie and Mickey at the same spot but they're not out at the same time they rotate so and they were doing this I'm sorry crap at the Christmas party too and I forgot to say something about it then this is the one thing I didn't like about the Christmas party and I don't like about it here at Jollywood is you may get in line thinking I'm gonna meet Mickey Mouse and halfway through the time you're in line or a few families in front of you before it's your time to meet Mickey they switch it in as Minnie 
like there was a lady in front of us she's like i've already met mickey i want to meet minnie <laughs> and so thankfully they switched and i'll write with her and so she got to meet minnie but it it was very frustrating for a lot of people because they were doing that donald and daisy were the same thing they would switch off so it was you never you never know who you're going to get and so you would constantly have to be getting back in that line back in that line or letting people like go past you be like hey do you want to meet minnie okay go around me because i'm waiting for mickey or whatever it was um and then they did the same thing with goofy and pluto so that was a little bit of a frustrating thing um that i found now for like phineas and ferb they were out together the whole time chippendale rescue rangers same thing they were out the whole time um their line wasn't very long the longest line i saw was for phineas and ferb they were the one you were gonna wait the longest but honestly if you were there with your kiddos to go ham on rides i think it's worth it like you could just go and do it. I think it was fun. You could eat some of the, the party specific food. You could catch the show. Um, if you want to meet some of the characters, that's great. But I think the ambiance and the Christmas feel, getting to see Jingle Bell Jingle Bam at the end, um, if it doesn't start raining like it did for us, um, that part I think is awesome. Um, and if I, if I did it again, which I, I honestly wouldn't pay to do it again this year, now the Christmas party, I would pay to do that again. Jingle Jollywood, I wouldn't pay to do that again this year. Um, and, and unless it was like going for a date night or something different maybe. Um, but if I were to do it again, like say next year, um, and it was ex exactly the same, I would just go, like we would do a few of the eats and just go ham on rides. And I think that, that would be the, like, strategy for me is like instead of doing a Hollywood Studios day it's just do a Hollywood Studios night and do all that and then like maybe do, go during the day if you wanted to if you wanted to buy a ticket but do like the shows the Frozen show the dance party meet some of the characters then um but yeah that's I don't know that's my two cents the party itself and the party exclusive things eh. I don't think that's for kids. Um, other than like the stage show and the characters, but like the soirees and like all the different things. And even a lot of the foods weren't really like for my girls, like toddler friendly food, kid friendly food. Um, they ate a little bit of funnel cake, but that was about it when it came to what they ate during this party. Well, they did drink the milkshake, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what that looked like for us. Um, and that party, I, yeah, the food also I didn't think was all that great overall. Um, I felt like the food at Mickey's Very Merry was significantly better than that food was. Um, most of what I got there was cold and or at least like just slightly warm. Like it wasn't like, okay, this is nice fresh food. You know what I mean? Um, the flavors just weren't, I don't know, they just didn't some of it was good but it wasn't anything that I'm like oh my god I've got to get back to that party so I can eat fill in the blank none of it was just that significantly good um but I, I hope that gives like a parent perspective if you guys have any other questions about it I will try to get those answered if you'll leave me a comment down below in the comment section I will try to answer your question but yeah that's kind of that's kind of how I'm feeling I'm like it's a no for kids unless you're just going crazy on rides like I think it's great not having to wait with your kids just walking through queues and just getting on the ride or being able to go again or not even having to get off and being able to go again is awesome and just invaluable especially when you have little ones that they their patience level is just not there because it's kind of age appropriately for it not to be there um, I think it's just an awesome benefit, but I have rambled on enough about this party, but I hope that did answer your question. If not, comment section below. If you have made it this far and you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button. It really does help to support the channel. And if you're new and you found it fun, helpful, interesting, and you want to see more Disney content from me, be sure to click that red subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, and let's be virtual Disney besties. And I will see you guys right back here in the next one. Bye.